there are times in a when statement when it's used as an expression that it needs to be exhaustive. What that means is an else statement must be provided. So let's assume that we have a when statement based upon an account type. So if we have an account type, and we'll just say account type dot gold, and we can say a when statement here. So when account type, and then we say gold, what we can actually do here is, you know, we can actually have some type of code here and we can say return gold member. Maybe we want to return certain strings based upon whatever their status is. So you can see here, we have an error and it says, hey, um, this is by default a unit that returns a unit, but we're telling it to return a string. So what we can actually do is have when return a value. So we actually val equals message. So I want to say a message off of this when statement. And what you'll see here is it's telling us, hey, well now when the when expression is used like this, it must be exhaustive. So we have to actually handle all of the different scenarios because this val must be populated with something. It has to be something. And the compiler knows by default, well, account type has different values, it has bronze and silver and gold and platinum. If you pass in, you know, if this is platinum, it doesn't know what to return. So it's telling you, hey, you have to return all of these things inside of here. And what it's saying is here, you can do this one of two ways. You can add the necessary bronze, silver, or platinums, or add an else branch. So there's two ways to do this. We could say, hey, uh, gold member, uh, or we can say, or we can say else, and we could return a regular member, something like that. And we'll see here we have, looks like it's returning. We don't need to add the return statement there because it's actually used as an expression. So we don't need to return anymore. And then what we can do here is say print line message. And when we print this, well, they're going to see that they are a gold member. Now, if I were to type this as platinum, we know that this is incorrect and it says regular member. Now that's, that's not correct here. So maybe what we want to do is if we say, if they are gold, then, you know, anything else like that, or maybe platinum is the highest level. We'll say platinum member. platinum. And then inside of the class here, we can say not eligible for special access, whatever that might mean. And if that's basically saying this is maybe a string that's going to be displayed to the screen, uh, when they're platinum, then use this. Otherwise for all other instances, if they're gold, silver, or bronze, then we want them to only see not eligible for special access. Well, here, uh, they're a platinum member. So we can actually say platinum member access allowed. And then when we rerun it, we'll see platinum member access allowed. And then we can come up here and change this to silver and we'll rerun it. And it says, Hey, you're not eligible for special access. Now that's when we could do it. One way we could do it. Now we could also change this and provide an implementation for each individual one. Now it doesn't matter. We could type bronze here. We could type the different ones here. This would, you know, of course, Maybe there's, there's a bronze access, there's bronze member access. And so we have this, we'll change this to silver. And notice we still have this squiggly line up here. It's still complaining that we don't have everything that we need. Uh, and then we can change this to gold, right? As soon as I provide the gold, I've provided all of these values. Gold member access allowed. Now, the beautiful part about this is regardless of whatever I've typed inside of here, now look, this telling us we can inline this here, we can inline the, the message, which we don't really want to do because we're assuming this comes from an API or database. The beautiful part about all this, once we run it, we'll see that we get the correct bronze, silver, gold, uh, is that, and just excuse me, I'm going to reorganize this here because it just makes more sense and matches the code, is that when we have account types, they're going to have a value here, which means later on in our application, if we decide to, for whatever reason, our business needs change and we add a new level called Onyx, now our application will not compile. 
the compiler is going to check this and say, hey, this when statement is not exhaustive. So if this account type is in another class file or another file in our application, which it's most likely is going to be, and we've added Onyx because it's coming down from the API. Cool, we have Onyx now. We're going to add that and we're going to try to compile our application and the Kotlin compiler is going to say, no, 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 no. You can't do this because you have to make sure that this when expression is exhaustive. Now, of course, that's of course can be gotten around by if the else is here and then say unknown member type or whatever. And you can have that and it'll be, you know, you can add it in there. So if you add another one, you know, you can say pink and whatever that would be. Maybe it's special, you know, uh, cancer awareness or something. It, it pops in there. Then you can have that inside of there. The different types that you have in here. Again, this doesn't matter if the bronze is at the bottom or, what, or whatever, the expression will be evaluated and the message will be returned at that point. And that's how you can work with an exhaustive versus non-exhaustive uh, when statement. And again, the non-exhaustive one is going to be perhaps if you just want to perform some type of evaluation. So this would be non-exhaustive when account type. And I could say gold. And I would say, maybe just print something to the screen. This is gold. Now, this is non-exhaustive here. We're not, a, we're not required to provide an else statement. Because this is using an expression, it's going to be returning a value. We have to provide an exhaustive approach. We have to exhaust all the options. So we need to provide all of the options or also provide an else at the bottom so we know what to do there. And again, there's no onyx here, so it starts complaining and so forth. Uh, and if we delete the onyx, and we add, just go to platinum there, we fix our compiler problems, and that's how we work with the exhaustive versus non-exhaustive when statements in Kotlin.